Hi everybody, um, welcome back and everything to my morning chat here. I still don't know what to call this. Like I said, I don't want to like seem like I'm copying off of other people, which is what it's going to look like. Um, I have a lot of topics to get through, um, so I'm just going to go through some of the faster ones that, you know, I just want to get out of the way before I tackle, like, I guess the bigger one I want to talk about. Um, first is the Oscars was last night. Uh, congratulations to the Birdman for winning Best Picture. That's the only award I know that went to. I even watched it for an hour and I have no idea who, well, shirt was Feed, or Best Animated shirt was Feed. And best movie or best animated movie was Big Hero Six. Um, props to both of those. Um, I really am one of the people that thinks the Lego Movie should have actually been in the category, and they got snubbed big time. Um, but you know it is what it is. So, and as for Birdman, I didn't. I don't care for the movie. I don't want to watch it. I know it's supposed to be like this big, great cinematic treat, but to me, it just seems like The Wrestler 2.0. Um, former actors trying to get back into the game. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, the imitation game looked better. Selma looked better. Whiplash looked better. Heck, um, I don't know if it was up for the award, but Grand Budapest Hotel actually looked better. And actually were more original, too. So, I don't know. The only thing that I'm glad about is that The Hobbit didn't win Best Picture. And if you understand why, my reasons for that is, is because of the whole Lord of the Rings thing. Um, I thought the third one was the weakest, that's the one that received the most uh, Oscars, so it kind of it kind of just rubbed me the wrong way. And the reason it's called the Oscars is for that little statue. So, um, the next topic of importance to me, and I like to congratulate her. I don't think she's going to be watching this, but if she does, congratulations, Liana K. Um, if you haven't heard, she's going to be um, doing a cosplay type show for the Escapist Mag. Um, I think it's great. She's an amazing cosplayer. Um, like, like, I say, like I said before, she's one of my heroes at the moment. And that's because she has the ability to say, put things in, into words that I cannot and how, how I feel about certain subjects and everything. And I just think it's wrong the fact that she's been getting lately. And hang in there, girl. You're doing great, find me. I can't wait to see the show and everything. And I guess for those kind of things, I guess I'm done with that. Um, there's not much to say about like the Oscars or anything else. Um, I guess Fastlane was last night too. I don't have the WWE Network. Um, if you don't know, I am actually a, a wrestling fan. But I'll probably do more of a WrestleMania predictions here later. Once I know the full card and probably go over the show because it, it's WrestleMania. But for Fastlane... The only things of note that I've seen that everybody was talking about was the Triple H Sting segment, the tag team match, and the main event. I don't know who won the Cena Rusev match. I'm guessing Rusev won. But, yeah, it's. And I heard that the, the crowd didn't even, wasn't even into the main event, so. I, I think they're going with the wrong way with a lot of the things, but especially with their choice of who they want to headline against Brock Lesnar, 
but that's not my call to make, so who knows. But the thing I, I really want to talk about this morning, after getting those important issues out, out of the way, is I guess the big hot button topic, um, and that is length of video games. <clears throat> That's right. There's a whole big thing about length of video games. The order came out, I guess, last week, and not only was it disappointing with everything else, but it was only five to six hours. Wait. We're mad, not because of the technical bugs and the gameplay being boring. We're mad at the length of the video game. Have we been spoiled on video games lengths as, as of late? <laughs> I've been playing since the NES era. <laughs> you can get through the original Super Mario Brothers if you know what you're doing in under like <clears throat> 30 minutes. If you don't know what you're doing, you can get these to get to World 8 in under an hour. A lot of the games we played, we didn't play because they were long. We did it because they were fun. I think the original Metroid, three, three hours at the most, maybe? Two hours? I, I don't know. I've, I haven't played it in such a long time. But I know a lot of the games that I had, they weren't long games. Um, what made them longer is because the medium was fresh and not a lot of people had experience with it. Nowadays, I can probably go and beat the original Mario now in under an hour. And that's only because I've become better at video games. So maybe we are, you know, I understand the game is, is crap. And everybody is like trying to find other things about it. But length of the video game? I'm sorry. Not every video game has to be like 20 hour magnum opuses. But I think we're just so conditioned to having a 10 hour, 10 hour 12 hour, you know, 30 hour games that we're like, wow, that was only six hours? But six still, six hours. I got games on my queue that I've only played an hour for. Heck, the original Double Dragon, yeah, you can get easily four or five hours out of it. But that's if you don't know what you're doing. And I kind of suck at the game, so it probably would take me that long just to get to the first stage. But I don't know. I just I think we're just so conditioned to having long games and having these magnum opuses, even if they suck. Um, and this is this is the girl that loves RPGs. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, the games that I have the most time playing right now is Dragon Age Inquisition, I'm up over 40 hours, um, and MMOs. I think the last time I checked, I was way over 40 hours for Final Fantasy XIV, and I was clocking in probably about 10 hours, 10 to 20 hours on The Secret World. And who knows how long I've been playing, you know, stuff like Lord of the Rings Online, which I gotta go back to playing at some point. But I think we just are so conditioned to play longer games that when a game comes out that's short, that's all we talk about. Is that fair? Not really, but we're so conditioned to that that that's what we're gonna do and see and that's what we want. But, yeah, yeah, you know, it happens. Um, I love playing shorter games sometimes because I like to get in there, do what I need to do, and then get out. <laughs> um, Pokemons are usually short games. At least for me, they may seem longer once you get into, like, catching and breeding and stuff like that. 
and maybe that's what happened with the order. Um, a lot of games will artificially f inflate their game play game time by adding side quests and all this other stuff. But you know, it it happens. Um, I'm actually gonna get going, so I will talk to everybody later. Have a great day, and. <clears throat> You know, if you like what I, what you see here, just go ahead and click the subscribe button. I'm not going to judge you if you don't. And I will see everybody later. Bye.